you need to be comfortable with touching someone's everything in the back of your mind you know if you get those scores you are 100% walking into medical school the timestamps for the various tips will be in the description box below please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing how to get into UCT Medical School if that is what you want in your life. No judgments here. It's a wonderful university and it is really respected on this national scale. Without further ado, let's begin. So UCT uses a point system that they evaluate all candidates on. The point score is out of 900. 600 points are allocated to your NSC results, so your academic scores. 300 points is allocated to the NBT, which is the nat National Benchmark Test, which is a standardized test that UCT uses to evaluate maths, English, and your problem-solving skills. And the last 100 points is your personal report, which is basically your CV and a list of extracurricular activity that, activities that you engaged in in high school. So for the 600 points for academics, you're expected to English, maths, and physics. The next best three scores will be used. The subjects that I took in, in matric was physics, bio, and accounting, also known as the Indian package. You only need to do seven subjects to get into med school, but it is nice having an eight subject just as a fallback in case one of the exams go really badly. For academics, my, my tips would be to really just engage with your teachers, especially in matric. Tell them what your goals are. Let them know that this is something that you want to do. You want to get into medical school. You need to be, like, to be honest, you need to be working consistently since grade 10 if this is an option that you have. Who do you want to call? How rude. Siri is so rude. It's on my watch. Listens to all my conversations, but that's not important. Anyway, I was saying that it's really important from the age of grade 10, or from the year of grade 10, you should probably know that you want to get into medicine because it's very competitive. You need to be working consistently. As my friend once put it, he's like, if you get into the habit of working a certain way from grade 10, like it's with, inevitably you're going to do well in matric if you're just used to consistently getting good grades. But that isn't to say that if you don't, you know, do amazingly in grade 10, 11, you're not going to get into matric because, you know, it's still possible, but you do need to work really hard. In terms of your grading, this gets really, this is where it gets interesting. So my advice to you would be in grade 11, November exams, like excel, like go all out, push, like give your best, put your best foot forward. Um, I would really advise that because my strategy to applying to UCT was to do really well in grade 11. And then obviously in the first term in March, my, my scores were like really, really high, also really pushed. And then I did, which brings me to the next point, the NBTs in March, which was the first group of students to write their NBTs. So by March, I had already done my NBTs. The universities had like a reflection of what my scores were looking like. And I managed to get a provisional acceptance quite early in the year. If you don't perform particularly great in grade 11 November exams, it doesn't mean that you don't stand a chance. It's just getting an early provisional acceptance may be a bit more difficult and obviously having that at the back of your mind just puts you at ease doesn't mean that you can like relax for the year, rest of the year but just to have that confidence knowing that you know you're going in the right direction advice that I was given and that my brother was given when he was in matric was after June exams take a break that June holiday like go out just relax and stuff because you need to really just recharge for the last final push which is trials and November exams I know a lot of students don't take that June exam and they I mean that June uh, the June holiday and they really just push during the holiday and by the time like trials ends you're just so done with working and it's completely understandable my tip for the NBTs would be to discuss what came out with older years or other people who had written the NBTs because they tend to repeat questions. They do not release, um, they don't release past papers, but they really do repeat questions. A lot of calculator, it's really daunting, but honestly, matric is just a mind game. You need to be strong mentally and you need to put your best foot forward and you need to be positive. Like, you know, you're trying your best and if it works out, like I feel like I'm quoting Justin Bieber from his Purpose album, but you're putting your best foot forward and if it works out, then great, it's meant to be. If it doesn't work out, you can't beat yourself up you know, it's just one of those things, you know, there's something better out there for you. Then the last 100 points is your personal report. The 300 points for your NBT and the 600 points for your academics are calculated to a score of 900. And if you have the same score as someone else, then they're going to look at your personal report for the extra 100 to, to compare who has, like, done more extracurricular activities 
and whoever has done more extracurricular activities is obviously going to, to get the acceptance. Another thing I haven't mentioned yet, the government rate certain like everybody's schools in terms of different districts and if you come from a different district that perhaps was previously disadvantaged you um your score gets like it's like one time 1 1.3 or 1.6 times whatever your academic score was so it might not be completely the same so maybe you got 70s but you obviously didn't have like access to resources that someone who came from a different school would have had it makes sense that you get that extra boost so you know if, if that's your situation don't be scared or anything um, they do take this into account but like just to be on the safe side like I don't know what the categories or I don't know what school you went to but to guarantee your admission just make sure that you're getting at least 810 points out of 900 so on the ECT website, I will put this up, it says you are guaranteed an admission if you get 810 points. If your score is 725 plus, it is probable that you will get in, but it is not guaranteed because it just depends on how your peers are performing in that year. And if everyone's getting scores around the same or a bit lower than you, then yet you will get in. If it's that say lower, then probably not. And if you get 690 plus, it is possible that you might get in. And you know, you're really so young, 18, like some, some people are even 17 when they're in matric. And you need to like really just ask yourself, why do you want to do medicine? Like I understand UC is a great university, but why do you want, even want to do medicine? Is it because of the money? Because if so, I'm here to give you a slap in the face and say you're not going to make that much money. It really is dismal, especially if you plan on moving overseas. Like, fair enough, America, you you know, they earn decently. But if you're planning to go to the UK or something, you're earning peanuts. Put the news on but doctors striking on the streets. You know, you can barely afford to live and eat and, and have accommodation. So it's not, you know, if you're in it for the money, it's not worth it. So are you doing it to make your parents proud? And if so, like, don't do it right now because I'm more proud of you if you do something else something easier something that you enjoy that's your real passion and that you pass that degree and graduate then for you to get into a six-year course that you hate it's absolutely difficult you need to be comfortable with touching someone's everything like just some random person he stinks or she stinks and it's just not a fun time trust me so if it's to impress your parents there are other ways to impress your parents you're gonna wake up every morning and be like i love this this is so much fun i get to do a rectal exam today Wow, is that blood on the curtains? Yay, is that, like that wrenching smell, that's amazing. Like, I mean, if you are a student and unfortunately your marks haven't been that great, don't dis don't be this bad. If it really is something that you want to do, then you could always just get into like a specific a UCT. Like I've seen people and I have friends who have gone into occupational therapy or BSc. I'm not limiting it to those two degrees. I just know people personally who've done them. Like maybe some people have completed the entire BSc and then gotten into medical school, and some people have just done a year of OT or a year of BSc and then they get in. But obviously, the marks have to be like they are the cream of the crop. Like they need to like top the year. But it's not undoable, you know. If you really just put your mind to it, you can do it. And if it makes sense something you really want to do, then definitely go that route. Um, to end off with this entire little rant, don't limit your options, apply for other things too, especially if they're related to health sciences. And secondly, apply to every university for medicine because you probably get in, you know, you just increase your chances of getting in. And I hope you found this video valuable. I hope you found this video valuable. I just wanted to give some advice, especially, you know, I didn't know about the point system until I finished my trick. And I was like, if I had known, it would have just helped me so much. And. I hope this helps even if it's just one of you. If this is something you want to do, let me know in the comments below. And if this has helped you, let me know in the comments below as well. And perhaps like if you've done the MBTs, if you're gonna do the MBTs, put it in the comment box below. And you can maybe connect with other people who are gonna do the MBTs or have done the MBTs and you guys can, you know, talk about the paper, just see how it went. <laughs> All the best you guys from your favorite gals out of the equator. Oh, please like and subscribe. Oh, and I was just like editing and I just wanted to say, trick is a really stressful period and if you're going through that in your life, like I wish you all the best. 
don't worry, everything is gonna be okay, and like there is an end to it. So all the best, and I know you're gonna smash it, and I'll see you around university, and if you see me, and if you watch this video and it helped you, please let me know, I would love that.